Today I'm going to be giving you an overview of the Mach Motion Interpreter 1000 motion controller. The Interpreter 1000 has 32 24 volt DC inputs. They're all digital. They run from X0 to X15 here, and then from X16 to X31. Um, there's 24 volt sources for them in each of the little blocks. Up at the top here, we have the outputs. They run from Y0, which you can kind of see back here, up through Y7. And then on this board, we have Y8 through Y15. And these are all 24 volt sourced digital outputs. And then we've got the grounds here. On this side, we have five relays already hooked up to the outputs. These are the wires here. The outputs run to these relays here. This one is the enable relay for enabling your system. Then we've got four just generic outputs for any kind of uh, system that you want to do that you need an output for. <clears throat> we also have DIN rail mounting so you can hook up more out, uh, relays or anything else that you're needing to, to the back of the interpreter. The Interpreter 1000 can control up to six axes simultaneously. It has plus and minus 10 volt analog control for each of the axes right along here. It also has a 0 to 10 volt analog signal for controlling a spindle. For all of the drives, it has encoder feedback, so there's encoder feedback for the X, Y, Z, and A, B, C right here. The Interpreter 1000 is powered using a standard uh, computer power cable. It can take 110 up to 240, and it communicates with the control using this Ethernet cable, and that can be as far as from a control as Ethernet can run. I hope you found the information in this video helpful. If you'd like to learn more about Mach Motion, visit us at mockmotion.com and watch our other videos.